This is an easy to make noise generator. I needed this generator to do further tests on the germanium transistor circuit. So um, there was already a schematic from this generator on uh, the Lulu website in the free download Blueprint 1. But um, I finally made it again now with a power supply for uh, 230 volts. In fact it's very simple. It consists of a um, two-stage amplifier made with two uh, NPN silicon transistors. And this diode is a germanium diode that um, generates a noise. The noise is generated by the current that flows through the diode and the amount of current is set by um, this 1K resistor. Uh, it's very important to shield this stage from the noise generator because it can start to oscillate when you don't do it. Here you can see how I shielded the first stage of the circuit. Here inside you'll see the two diodes and here is the germanium diode. The germanium diode is covered with dark tape because its junction, junction is sensitive to light. Also something to take in account. So here in the first stage the noise is amplified very much, extremely, and after that it goes to the to the next stage. Also an NPN transistor amplifier and after that the volume from the noise is set by this potentiometer, linear potentiometer from a 1K. And here's the output. The power supply was in fact a big problem. I didn't think um, it was such a big problem at first, but when I um, took a transformer I found that the stray field from the transformer um, was picked up by the extreme sensitive first stage. And so it was a lot of hum on the noise signal and that was of course not the meaning. So I had to take a good transformer and I find I found finally this one. It's a very small one with a good core, big core, and it has almost no stray field. So uh, this transformer worked properly. So it's something to take in account. Of course you can also take a transformer that has a high stray field, but keep it away from the extreme sensitive first stage. The next problem was the, um, uh, the smoothing out of the uh, ripple. This was the first um, electrolytic capacitor. I connected a 1K resistor and after that we connect that to the plus here and the minus from the circuit. So in fact this, capa this capacitor with this resistor and this electrolytic capacitor forms a p-filter that filters out all hum and all ripple. Uh, when you don't have a germanium diode you can also try to take a germanium transistor and use one of the junctions here inside and let it function as a diode. So that's also a possibility. Sometimes these diodes are hard to get um, because they are a little bit obsolete. The shield is of course connected to the minus. You can see the shielding again. Um, proper wiring is necessary one point earth and the transformer uh, must be uh, chosen well and not a too big stray field. And the rest is classical of course. This is a classical uh, bridge rectifier etc etc. And of course you can also supply it by a 9 volt battery. Then there are no problems 
with hum or something. Now I'm going to demonstrate the noise. So you can see there is a good amount of noise and when I see it well this is not only um, made by the junction in the germanium transistor but also by these three um, silicon transistors though they're, um, they add not much to the, to the output noise So noise, a noise generator is very useful in audio experiments. When you connect it to an audio amplifier, you can hear um, in a very short term how the loudspeaker boxes sound. So when you have different loudspeaker boxes and listen to the noise that's played uh, through the audio amplifier, you can um, easily make a judgment about the typical sound, the typical coloring from the sound by the loudspeaker box. And we can also conclude that this loudspeaker box doesn't have a lot of doesn't have a lot of bass. Noise is in fact a very broad spectrum of all kinds of random frequencies. <laughs>